Good day, guys. Bing here. Um, today, let's um, try to model this one. Okay, so let's start. So we're going to use uh, conceptual mass. Okay, um, I'm not going to model it exactly um, the same sh shape, but I, uh, I'll try my best. Okay, so. Um, first, we need to find. So um, I, let me just do, do a screenshot. So try to work out how uh, we can model this. So we know that in math we need some um, profiles. So for example, this one. If you cut this shape, so maybe just ignore this part. <laughs> so if we cut this one, um, so we create one profile like this, and another one here, and another one here. So I think it's possible and also include include all these curved um, patterns or um, shape but I think this method will be quite um, time consuming so for example if I try to use um, spline through points so just create so we need to so for example only for that edge we need to um, adjust all the points and go up and down so that will be a, a lot of work I believe so something like this okay so and then of course in the uh, plan view you also need to try to adjust those points and to create that um, curve curved shape curved shape something like this and then just for example, I just quickly just do three of them and then uh, it will be very uh, time consuming so even you have that um, image in here I try to you know follow that and then it's still <laughs> it can be quite um, quite uh, hard to to create this shape so what I'm thinking is maybe um, and also um, and also another way of doing it is we can we can use this edge and then maybe another one in the middle another one here so this is another way of doing it so I'll just remove this so one two three so um, let me just delete this so this um, can be another way but this you can only create a, a, a smooth you won't be able to create these patterns um, let me just quickly try so what we can do is we can just create this one this one this one so one two three um, I let me just try to let me think I'm going to use a uh, spline through points as well so I'll just do one two three okay so this is um, this edge so maybe this one need to go down a little bit go up a little bit something like this and then I'll just use use mirror mm uh, mirror use this oh hell control Z mm check the copy go we have another one and then we need another one so in the middle so it, it, once again spline through points I'm going to use uh, maybe I think I uh, let me sorry let me, let me check um, there's no work plan anyway so I'm going to use a uh, reference spline through points and use draw on work plan and I want to draw on to this uh, level one work plan instead of use draw on face so but for now I'll just draw it because um, it's not a big issue because after because these are uh, spline through points so after we place them we can still adjust each point so the idea is so this we can just uh, oh hell I want this one to match that point um, no let me delete it delete this one and use this one to use a mirror mirror to this side so now we have one exact same height one two three so create a form and this 
is another way of doing it. But、um, how can we create these these、um, wave、uh, waves? <laughs> so we can use. Oh, let me just. Yeah, it's not exactly the same, but quite close. So maybe we can just move this、uh, inside a little bit, and then try to. Or you can actually,、um, if you really want to match the shape of this one, we can.、Uh, let me just do quickly do it. So we can just add another one here. So so reference, and maybe、uh, use draw on work plan. Use、um, level one work plan. So this one more about here, I think, <laughs> and something like this. Okay, and then this one can go up a little bit, and yeah, I think that should be fine. And I'll just use the MM mirror and use this reference. Ah,、uh, it won't let me to do it.、Um, I'm not sure. Just go to、uh, floor plan and use this mirror to the other side. So now let's try again. So with these five profile, so you can have you know you can adjust this shape. You know you can have more control of the shape, right? Something like that. So still not very、uh, exact. Still not the same. But you can always adjust to、uh, make it close closer to that shape. But now how can we do these? Um, we can use、uh, pattern-based family. So for this one, so it's all smooth, right? So you can、uh, let me just go this go up a little bit, maybe, <laughs> and then use divided surface. So once you use divided surface, you can. So for this one, what we're going to do is we can, we just add increase the number of these. So thirty.、Um, I think that's about. Right.、Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Let me let me just add this twenty. Okay. So now we have patterns, and then we need to just go create a new family. So use a pattern based. So pattern based. You can use curtain panel pattern based, or there's also generic model pattern pattern based. So let's use the generic model pattern based. So in this pattern based family. So let me just first.、Um, To go to front view, I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter. You can always、uh, rotate if you, if、uh, if you need to. So I'm going to create that. So、um, I'll use draw point on draw on face and onto this、uh, line. So roughly,、um, I'm not quite sure yet. So I'll just roughly. Place a point.、Uh, I'll just leave it for now. We can adjust it later. So place a point. Use draw on work plan. Set work plan. Pick the horizontal work plan of this point, and place it on the point. And then adjust this to so for them go up, and then the other one need to go down. Okay, so this one need to go. Or actually, you can just go up as well, but you can just rotate this part. By one eighty, so you have same. You don't need a negative offset. So for this one, I want to, and also、uh, I want to use the distance between point、uh, three and point four to control the offset. So let's just do a dimension. Oh, before we dimension, just set work plan first. Set work plan on. Ah,、uh, yeah. So let's create set work plan. Pick the. Oh, I'm going to use the work plan of this reference done. And dimension di pick the point. Okay, so now this is a dimension, and then create a reporting parameter. Let's call it a reporting RP instance, and check the reporting parameter. So now, okay. So what we need to do is we need create to select these two points offset, create an offset parameter. So let's call it all. Fs instance and OK and OK. So go to family types offset equals. So you just need to、um, roughly you can create a parameter to control this, or you can just directly use、uh, type in. So for example, divide by three. So this will I think that's too much. Maybe divide by four. So now we have this point, this point. So now we can create a. 
use these four one two three four four points to create a spline through points so um so now you can control where uh where you want to place these point these two points on this reference line to adjust the shape so for example i'm going to place it this one onto 0 0.25 and this one to uh, 0 0.75 so yep yeah, um are you happy with this shape um, if not you can always try to you know try to adjust this um maybe not so let, let let's try it. 0 0.3 uh don't know <laughs> maybe try it. Uh, and also this one need to go if if one this one's 0 0.3 this one will be 0 0.7 um still i think it's still a little bit too much offset so maybe just go back uh, divide by five okay yeah i think that's better and if you want to control this in that mass um, family you can always create a new parameter so use a number create a new um, number parameter here number parameter so for example call it x and then in this uh, formula just instead of five you can just type in x so you can use that parameter to control this one but for now I, i'm happy with this so i'll just use a five okay and also i'm happy with uh, 0 0.3 so always 0 0.3 so now if i have a test i if i adjust um not sure which one let's try this one uh wrong uh, it's this one so if i type two meter so you will see it it will stay in the same shape because the offset will change accordingly and as and this one as well so it's always 0 0.3 a percent oh sorry 30 percent at this point okay so this is the percent of this uh line okay so now this is one and we just need another one so same draw on face one two this point 0 0.3 point 0.3 and this point 0 0.7 and if you want to create a parameter to control this uh point you can you can so you can also create here so click on this and create and also if you wanted to use the same you can always flip this one and then this become 0 0.3 so it become the same uh, you can use the same parameter to control both of them and once again draw this time point draw on word plan tab place and this one go um needs to go up maybe let's just ro go down and rotate this oh 180 degree okay so another one and tab oops sorry <laughs> do it again tab and you should see the warning and click on ok this time go down and select select both of them and link this to the offset okay so now with one two three four four points uh splice or points and then that's it check the box same check the box so create a reference line so select these two we can create this shape okay so now we, if we load this in here select it and we can use that family to pattern based family onto this shape and then it will create this wave 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 shape so this might take uh some time depending on how um, many of um how many depending on the number here yeah? a number of grids and also depending on your uh, computer sp speed so my computer is quite um, slow so this take um, like 20 seconds and you will see uh, wrong direction <laughs> so we did we did this uh, but that's fine we just need to go here rotate it by 90 degree and okay we just need to wait for a few more seconds and if let, let me just go so this yep yeah. almost there 
So today uh, I'm just showing you some. Um, so now that's it, and you can see it's not. It's actually not matching perfectly. So you, uh, there's a gap there, but um, but I think that's the idea. So the shape is not exactly the same, but uh, you can always spend more time trying to. You can also uh, you can also in in the floor plan. You can also insert image. So if you uh, where's image here import image. So if if you have that image save save this one in um, a JPEG or PNG, and then you can drag it into here. So you can just follow that image and create the shape and yeah i think that's that's it uh, so just uh, um uh different approach you can you can you can create create these lines uh, use spline through points it can be quite uh, time consuming so you need to create three of them and at least three and then create it directly okay so the um the good thing about uh, that this one two three is there will n not be any of these lines so it will be a, a continuous or, or um shape uh, surface but this um the, the method i'm go um, I, I i use here different method so we create it from here here one two three or maybe four or five but we use divide a surface to create these, and also actually, um, if you do it, you can also do it this one, two, three, without all these wave, and then just use divided surface um, to create. Uh, oh no, sorry, use divided surface with pattern based family to create these waves. Uh, so it will be very very similar. So this is it. Um, hope I hope you um, learn something. Uh, um, from this, so I I will upload I will upload this family for you, so you can have a play. Okay, so that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.